All right, everyone. I'm back with uh, another fan here, another acquisition from Fanimation here, a uh, 1930s style Hunter original with the uh, with the bowl of light kit. This one I uh, got I got on a surprise deal from fan collector Brian Peterson, known as Cleveland uh, Fan Collector on YouTube. And I've been wanting one of these for a while. I mean, and just this one came around, and it was a very big surprise on group trip that I got this thing. So, so yeah. First, here is the light. 0.64 amps, 75 watts, power factor of one. All right, I'm going to set it to low and we'll go back and, uh, and power it up. There is a, uh, but you can also see that I, uh, the mounting is a little different than uh, than typical, these are normally the two piece that screw together in halves. This is a kind that has that plate bracket that you would uh, bolt the U-bolt uh, to and then uh, screw the canopy to the sides of the bracket. And what I did was I just took one of my O-rings and held it up uh, Put the uh, silver piece, the plastic silver piece on the outside just so that I can uh, hold it up for the time being for test purposes. I just hang it on the J-hook with the grommet as I would with any other Hunter original. So this is low. So it's drawing 0.3 amps. So almost 30 watts, like 28, 29 watts. And it's already just over three quarters of a power factor. I'm gonna bring it to medium. It's a fast medium. It's like almost, uh, some people would think this is already high. I'll, sh I'll get to high. 84 watts. Closer to a power factor of one. Now here comes high. Here's high. That's just the bowl rattling in there. It's not... Yeah, the glue came undone. I'm just gonna re-glue that with a hot glue gun. Put that bowl in place. The glass bowl, that's just the glass bowl rattling. So you can see this is high. This is drawing one and uh, 1.3 amps. So almost just over one and a quarter amps. Just like uh, many of uh, most three speed originals draw. Uh, this and this is not one of the two and a half amp ones 146 watts and call that a power factor of one and I'm gonna do spin down Yeah, it's gonna be a spin down with this one. I know these are known to have long spin downs. 
Put those cast iron rotors in there. Yep, still going. And There. All right. And getting at the reverse switch is a little tricky. But here I'm going to do reverse. Here's low reverse. Current draw is the same on that. Here's reverse medium. Pretty much call that the same current draw there. And high reverse. And yeah, pretty much current draw is the same. Maybe minutely different, but not much. Kind of harder to step. All right. Let's do decade box and see where this will start. <laughs> Here we go in microfarads. One, two, three. Nope, not even. This is probably with what it was drawing, it's not gonna start till four. Oh, okay, it's gonna go on four. I'm gonna give it a little bit just to see. I mean, here, is that gonna stall? That looks like yes. I think five should go then. Yeah, four stalled out. Five is definitely gonna keep going. Basically going at disco ball speed. One, two, two. Six, seven, seven looks like that matches the factory low. I'm gonna do eight. So I know one thing I remember running Hunter Originals on an eight, twelve, twenty because they just take more amps to a run. So with the capacitor system, it's a little slower on that current draw there. So yeah, you definitely, uh, one thing you'll know that with capacitors, it's much lower power factor. This is eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I do have actually, you know what? I do have a 
7, 9, and 16. It's a weird value combination by its uh, Minka Air. So this is 16. So not quite factory medium. Here's 17, 18, 19. And if I go 20, that pretty much puts it just a hair over a factory medium. So, yeah, if you find an 8, 12, 20, that's definitely going to get a good range of speeds there. And you get right here, I call a backed off high, where it's like it's up there. It's up and high, but it's not all the way up and insane, but allows you to move air without... With the ins without the insanity, say. Okay, so I'm at 20. So any wall control, well, maybe not a 4711 because those that went over, or no, not didn't go over. It stalled out. So maybe not that one. Wouldn't get a low speed. Here's 25. I know I got a ways. 28. 30, 30, 31, 35, Let's see if I go over yet, am I close, 38, I'm just going to max it out at 40 microfarads, I'm, I know I'm still under, I'm going to hit the high switch, yep, definitely under so higher value controllers are safe just uh 4711 is a uh, little too underpowered for low speed all right and now to do solid state variable let's uh see how quiet or noisy this one is So far, silent. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely silent. If I put my ear up to it, I can hear a little hum, but... Yeah, I can't hear anything from a distance. It's definitely, um, that is definitely silent on a solid state or nearly silent. It's enough to call it silent. So it's drawing, so it's just under 1.3. All right, zero to high. Let's see if I get a large or a small or no in rush. Yeah, that is a large in, larger in rush. So that is some in rush there. I mean, not, I wouldn't call it drastic, but it's a moderate in rush, so does jump a little. All right. Well, that's all I have for this uh, red 1930s original. So uh, keep watching and subscribing and I'll be back with some more fans.